Hi, this is Ness by Sarabin, and I'm out in the makery today. And I had this project in mind um, for a long time. Once I found this little kind of miniature ship at Goodwill for $2. I've been hanging on to this for a while. Um, but in my head, I was thinking of different things that um, I had that would go with kind of a, a pirate theme. And I had this little treasure chest here had that for a while um, and so when I was at an estate sale this weekend and bought this big clamshell you see this how huge it is I knew exactly what my project was going to be to put the ship and the treasure chest and some of the seashells um, together for kind of a pirate seashell theme and so when I bought this clamshell, it had a big hole drilled in the bottom for, I think they did some type of candle or something like in that. So to start, because the resin pro project, I didn't want it to drain through the bottom. I had to close up the hole. So I closed it up on the outside with masking tape. Then on the inside, I stuffed the hole with some styrofoam and, um, and then I used hot glue to fill in the holes and that worked really well. Um, then um, I was going to fill it with resin, but what I learned from my last water feature um, project was that resin's really expensive and you want to use as little amount as you need to. So you wanna fill up that area um, with things that you can cover uh, with sand and pebbles. So and I'm sure my next project I'll be even smarter. But here's the resin that I get. I, I bought resin at Ace Hardware that uh, hardens in 10 minutes. This was really easy uh, to buy just on Amazon. It's got a 40 minute work time. It's called Art and Glow uh, Resin and Hardener. Um, so that's what I wanted to work with. Um, when I work with resin, um, I normally go out to the dumpster and look for a, a plastic container to mix it in um, because it's something that you're going to have to throw away afterwards. And then I save my little uh, scoops, my plastic scoops that comes in my protein powder, and that's really easy to measure out the amount that you need of the resin and the hardener. So um, and this is a one-to-one -one ratio and you have 40 minutes to work with it, meaning that you're still going to be able to stick little miniatures in it um, before it hardens. Um, some of the other supplies that I used for this is just, this is just plain white sand. I bought this at a garage sale that I really scored on this. Um, probably paid $5 for all these little bitty bitty seashells and they've come in really handy for all the art projects that I have. Um, some blue sand, and uh, that's not really that necessary, but I think it adds to the blue color because you can dye your blue resin with, your, your resin with like alcohol inks like this, but I think over time in the sun, um, it loses the color because I've noticed one of my other projects has kind of lost the color. So I'm hoping that with the blue sand on top of the blue glass beads, the resin on top, it will maintain its, uh, retain its blue color a little longer. So I went ahead and started with the blue glass stones and put that in the bottom of the seashell. Then it added some blue sand and then I got to work on making my resin and stirring that up with a mixture and you got to stir it really, really good. Otherwise, if you don't, it doesn't mix well and it's not going to harden. Um, another thing you have to be careful of is make sure your proportions are right. This is really a precise measurement one to one. And when you scoop it out, it's very sticky on the side of the, the little uh, measuring cup. So make sure you get like a real scraper to scrape that out. Because if the proportions aren't right, it's not going to dry. And um, I've done projects before that it wasn't dry. It was The surface was really sticky and gooey for even months afterwards. And I had to throw the project out. So that's one lesson I learned. Um, 
And so this gives you a 40 minute dry time. So I put a little bit of it on there. I did a bigger batch. I think I did maybe three scoops in each and the scoop was probably two tablespoons. Um, and I put that in and then once it started drying after maybe 20, 30 minutes, I put the coral in and you could see that it was the perfect time because it wasn't sinking all the way. It was already kind of hardened at the bottom. Um, and at that time I moved a little bit. I could see that the resin was going to kind of come up um, in these curvatures here. And I didn't like the way it looked with just the blue sand and then the resin right on top of the, the shell. And I decided I wanted it to look more like a seashore. Um, so that's when I put the white sand on each of these little peaks of these waves that come up. And I also added some of these little tiny baby baby shells there. And so I, I kind of worked with that toward the end of the drying resin time. And that worked really well. Now, if you get um, bubbles in your project, air bubbles, you can easily get rid of them by using a heat gun. This is an embossing heat tool. You can get these in any craft store. And that's what... I didn't need it for this project. I didn't have any bubbles, but I have had bubbles in the past before, and it works really well. Um, see the anchor on the ship? Isn't that cute? I just love this ship, um, and I can't wait to put this out at the uh, the neighborhood uh, seaside garden. But I wanted to show it to you first, and then I'll probably take a photo of it when I bring it out um, to the seashore. But uh, that's the little treasure chest there. So I hope you find a project to do today that makes you as happy as this made me when I was putting it together. And I think it turned out very nicely. And I'm excited to put it up at the tree stump at the park, Francis Park, for kids to enjoy, and adults. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.